Alright, to take this squirt gun that I showed you in the last review video here and turn it into a custom prop, you've got to do a few things. There are five screws in it total. They're all Phillips head and they're easy to get out. You remove all of those and then you unscrew the bottle. After you've unscrewed the bottle, you heat this. I boiled a pot of water, dipped the blaster tip into it for about 30 seconds, pulled it out, and I popped it off with a flathead screwdriver. It came right off and this orange piece comes off. Once you get that off, you can fillet the blaster into two halves and take a look at the internals. Now you'll see that a lot of these cosmetic orange pieces are just standalone floating pieces. They come off on either side and they'll just pop through. It's really easy to take this apart to paint if you want to do a custom paint job. And the internals couldn't be simpler. You've got the trigger here, the piping, which is just vinyl tubing, and the trigger is the plunger, and then the nozzle that it comes out of. Very simple, going to be really easy to sand this down with my sanding sponge, and I'll show you what it looks like once I've sanded it. Alright, so everything has been sanded and prepped. These are all the orange bits that I'm going to be doing with a new paint that I'm testing out right now. This is the Model Masters Custom Spray Enamel. It's a gunship gray. It should look really cool when I do the body with my Krylon Fusion for Plastic Ultra Flat Black Camo Paint. I don't use this for camouflage only. I also use it when I want to make things look realistic for cosplay, etc. I've taken the bottle and I'm going to make it look almost like it's full of a radioactive or flammable fluid by frog taping over a few panels so it'll still have this transparent yellow after I paint it over with the black. Alright guys, so this is ready to paint. I've gone over it with my sanding sponge and some 300 grit sandpaper. The green body here is going to be painted with my Krylon Fusion Ultra Flat Black paint. And it, it is my base coat for a lot of my camo paint jobs, but it works really nice for making these cosplay blasters because it's a ultra flat black and it looks really nice. The accenting, which will be all of these orange pieces that fit into the shell in various places, as well as the nozzle here, I'm going to put a pin in so it doesn't get clogged. And the trigger, which I've removed from the internal assembly, will all be done with this Model Masters enamel spray paint. I've never used this before, but I hope it turns out really nice and it's going to stick very well. This is a cool paint and I'm eager to try it out. The bottle that holds the water is going to be really interesting. It's going to look like it houses flammable or radioactive fluid of some sort because I'm painting it again with that flat black everywhere, but I frog taped the area where it threads into the blaster itself so that that's still going to be smooth, and I frog taped over panels on it so that these panels on both sides, when I remove the tape, will still be this transparent yellow and will not only show me how much water is inside it, but will also give it a really cool realistic effect. So I'm going to go lay down the coats of paint on these pieces and I'll get back to you in a second. Alright, so you can see here that I have finished the cosmetic detailing on the handheld flamethrower squirt gun mod. This is a really nice squirt gun for what it is not being a pressurized squirt gun. And the detailing on it just turned out flawlessly. I couldn't get the full range of colors that I wanted because this gray is a different from this gray, is a different from this gray. And I did that because I like the way that it contrasts and looks like these are actually different pieces now. Like the tubing is different from the nozzle attachment and everything else. And I feel like it looks a lot nicer because of this. And I did that by taking the enamel paints that they have in the spray cans, spraying them onto a sheet of paper, and then brushing them on in this manner. And I felt like I got a much wider range of colors doing that. Like this is gunship gray, and this is a completely different type. The window on this squirt gun is just the coolest thing ever. It shows the fill level of water, and it kind of glows a transparent yellow, which contrasts really nicely with this ultra-flat black that I painted the tank and the main body with before I started detailing over it. Now here's the fun part. This blaster, I finished it, I'm really pleased with how it turns out and it looks incredible. You could use it as a squirt gun, as a movie prop, or for cosplay. Whatever you want to do with it, it is now for sale on eBay. 
and I'm hoping to get a reasonable amount for it. I feel like I put a ton of work and time into this, and I hope you guys like it and are willing to bid on it. But the link to that eBay auction is below, and thanks for watching.